Jim Robel, and this is Garage Customs. In today's episode, we're going to continue on with Everlast Power Plasma 60S, continuous blowback design with the Trophimet S75 hand torch hooked up to my TorchMate 2x4 table with a custom water table. So let's see how she cuts. Quick look at the front of the unit and then to the back to the CNC port. Remember to wire in pins 1 and 2. Everlast does not recommend using this alternate location for the air water separator. This is the first test run of this machine and I did have it turned up to the full 60 amps. Basically what I would do now is for the next couple that I would cut out, I would start at 20 amps and see what that did. And I'm about maxed out on my machine for travel. So turning the amps down will help with the dross on the back side. When I programmed these, I programmed them in to be a little rough, meaning that I didn't do exact circles or nice arcs and radiuses. This is set up to kind of mimic an old coin. And what these are for is they're for my wife's award-winning high school color guard team. They took first place at state championships this year, and she wants them to have something as a nice memento to take with them to college. Trying to get the most out of my material, you can see here that the torch actually cycles off and cycles back on. I've actually laid the material too low, so I didn't have anything to cut right there. Working with 3.8 steel for something this delicate is really a good test of how well a plasma system will perform. This one came through and did super nice cuts and I'm very impressed with the cut quality of this machine. I set the pierce delay right out of the hypertherm book at 2.5 seconds. Looks like I could have got away with about 2 or 2.1. Here again, as we start going into a process, we'll refine it a little more and get some really good numbers for this machine and I'll go ahead and post those up for you a little later. The CNC plasma process is such a great way for a fab shop to be able to make consistent money instead of worrying about the one-off fabrication or walk-ins. It's nice to be able to develop and make a product. I do have to say, there's just something way cool about being able to program something on a computer, take it out to the shop, and cut that piece out. Really love the CNC process, and I think this Everlast unit is a great fit for the table. right off the table and I can tell I do not have the torch in square As you can see one side we got a better cut than the other but this is 3 8 steel well now we've seen the power plasma 60 s in action and what are my thoughts first I'd like to kind of clear the air a little bit I don't work for any manufacturer so I'm not bound to say something to make them look good Basically, when I do a review of any unit, I'm free to say what I feel about it for you, the public, so you can actually look at my reviews and know that there's character and integrity and my name goes on it. So, that being said, what do I feel about the 60S with the, uh, the new S75 torch? One, I wouldn't really say that I would want to get into the CNC program. 
running a hand torch, but if I had to buy this unit for just a little over a thousand bucks, would I do it to jump into CNC? And absolutely, I 100% recommend this unit for your first unit for your CNC. That being said, I jumped on the phone today and I ordered a CNC torch for the 60S unit. I think that's going to give me a lot uh, of cut capability and I can get the torch in there and make sure everything's square and cut and right. I can do the same thing with the hand torch, but I'm taking it off, I'm putting it on, you know, I'm using it as a hand torch, so it's really not optimum for what I would say for the CNC process. Now, would I purchase this machine with my own money? Heck yes. I 100% say this is an outstanding machine, and if I knew about this unit uh, about three or four months ago when I was making my Hypertherm purchase, I bought the PowerMax 65, which I gave uh, a 98 on a rating, and it got that because of its air usage. This unit is very efficient on air, it's got great cut quality, and so far I highly recommend it. So that being said, I'm going to bump this machine's rating up from a 95, and I'm going to jump to 96 and a half. That's only one and a half behind the Hypertherm unit. So that being said, outstanding unit, highly suggest this. Stay tuned for further episodes where I'll be really putting this machine to the test. We'll see how uh, many pierces we can get off of the consumables and how things compare. So thank you for watching this week's episode of Garage Customs. I'm Tim Roll, and I'll catch you here next time.